I have uh, one of the my uh, I must say the favorite shoe designer. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know many shoe designers, but one is very special, and she is here, uh, Hester Vlamings. Uh, for the the the, the loyal uh, viewers, she was on the show last week, but she was it was such a nice interview that we. Let me do it again. Asa, welcome to the show. Hi, hi, Hupa, how are you? I'm doing great. Hi. Uh, Asa, uh, uh, you have been uh, in, in shoe design for almost quite 25, a, 25 years. years. Almost, that is fantastic, almost. yeah. And uh, you've done all kinds of stuff. You, you, you had your own line, you're still made designing it. But um, uh, what uh, I think is interesting to hear from you, um, we are now in Fashion Week here in Amsterdam. The, the fashion year started. Um, is a lot of attention for, for, for clothes, for women clothes. What, what, what about the attention for, for shoe design? Oh, oh, there's a lot of attention yes. for shoe design. Many of the designers, the Dutch designers, are more cooperating with the footwear designers. Okay. One of the most beautiful cooperation are, of course, the shoes of Jan Tamaniau. Um, René van der Berg did a real nice job for that one, for, for that collection, for yeah. that footwear collection. What, what was the... Uh, uh, yeah, you named already some names, but but uh, what, what struck you in 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 the, in the last couple of weeks, where there was a lot of events, yeah, fashion events here in Amsterdam, uh, in in the shoe shoe design area, what 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 struck you the most? Well, my attention always go to the heels because okay. I have a, um, a fetish for heels, not okay. not high heels as a fetish, but because of the look form. at this heel. heel really look heel. at this heel. With a high heel, you can put strange forms for heels, which really define a footwear design. Okay. And I think that's also happening now at this moment with all the footwear designs are made. That was what got my attention, yes. Ah, okay, interesting. We go uh, more in detail that. has brought some, some really nice new designs and we're gonna uh, zoom in on that uh, in, in a minute. Uh, but first I wanted to know because um, what we try to do is uh, to, to put, let's say, Dutch design in international perspective. How are we doing um, uh, in, in, in that regard? I mean, there's Dutch uh, shoe designers. How are they doing internationally? Oh, they are doing better than they do in Holland. Oh, really? Yes, they do. <laughs> in Holland, um, well, okay, I leave that. Um, but in f um, all countries outside Holland, Dutch designers are respected for their fresh look, their funny way of uh, solutions and open-minded, free, yeah. a free mind. That's what we have yeah. and what's respected in yeah. the... Is that also part of uh, creativity? I was, uh, we were at Dutch Design Week in, in Eindhoven, and they kind of focused on the knowledge, on, on the social part, but also on the creativity. Are, are the Dutch more creative than, than, than other countries, you think? I think. Difficult question. Yeah, because I'm having too much uh, thoughts now, because the Italians are known for their sexiness and female yeah. things yes. in footwear or uh, designs. Um, we are not that like the Scandinavian type of uh, design, mm -hmm. although they are also really have a, a very distinguished style. And the Dutch distinguish themselves for their... They have the special style, okay. <laughs> which is uh, they, they are great in finding unusual solutions okay. and not afraid of... Um, Experimenting, maybe? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, yes, okay. yes. I know you, you are working in, in Germany now uh, a lot of your time. Uh, is that, is that uh, also part of that uh, interest that is internationally for the Dutch shoe design that you know do a lot of work there? I think so, yes. yes. That's what uh, is respected and uh, that's what they like. They, they really love to look at what is happening in Holland and having a Dutch designer is for them, I think, uh, also a fresh... Um, approach of uh, yes. their collections and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. because German German in, in general is, is a very thorough uh, industry uh, but also very large and and uh, I think that is when you compare to Holland that is a total different scale of, of working what you do there yes no because in Holland uh, the, the the traders in Holland are also very much outside Holland ah, okay. um, so most of the I'm speaking for footwear. Yes. Most of the footwear in all the world is coming from Holland. 
but that's because we are good traders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, uh, yeah. And the yeah. designers, they, they have to go out of Holland because they have much more opportunities yeah, there. Yeah. And the manufacturing is also not in Holland not, anymore. No, that's so sad. And you also yeah. see it in, in the 50s, it all disappeared to the southern Europe yeah. and then far, far away to the um, Far East, India, uh, because of the labor prices, yes. And you see now uh, Spain is having the same difficulties as we had in the 50s. Portugal is having the same difficulties. So. It's tough time in, yeah. in industry, yeah. Yeah, so this, this whole uh, shoe industry is really international. So we have Dutch designers, uh, German manufacturing made in China, yes. and then traded by the Dutch. Yeah, mm, uh, mm, and the Germans. And the German, but yeah. most of it is made in, uh, in China, India, yes, yes. and still a lot of it is made in Portugal. Yeah. How is that working in, in such an international uh, industry? I, I have the feeling it's getting more and more international, more and more global. It's for, also for me really refreshing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, yes, it's getting more global. You travel a lot. You have to like traveling um, without seeing the nice country. You only see the factories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's um, now it's you again. Yeah. Uh, what, what we discussed uh, last show also, there's a big gap uh, between, let's say, the, the, the global fashion brands or what we discussed now, these really big uh, uh, footwear uh, manufacturers and traders. And on the other hand, you have, you have your uh, people here, like your, your fashion designers, that start small, small and, there's, yeah. and there's a really big, big uh, gap. gap in between. And I have the feeling it's getting bigger and bigger, that gap. Well, that, yeah. I don't know exactly what you want to know from me. Yeah. Is, is there, uh, uh, let's say, we, we have also... Uh, we have the small designers yeah. making their own shoes, so the handcrafted shoes, yeah. and they make real well, um, um, well-crafted shoes. Yeah. Um, and we have industrial revolution, we had factories, and yeah. we were able to produce many um, uh, shoes, big sizes, and we yeah. have the marketing brands. Yeah. So they put a lot of, uh, or merchandising, they, they put a lot of um, effort in, uh, of, in, in merchandising and making yeah. the brands real big and, and, and expensive. Um, but at the same time, if you make shoes with your hand, there's a lot of time in it, and that's, yeah. those shoes are also very expensive. A pair of shoes, handmade shoes, was yeah all raise uh, the cost of what the labor was uh, um, earning in one month. Yes. So even now, if you make a, uh, or you buy a pair of handmade shoes, it's well, the, the salary of yeah. one month of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's yeah. a lot of money. It's a lot of money, yeah. Uh, and is there, you think, is, 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 the, is the market for that still there? Uh, all the, what I mean is uh, everybody that, and that maybe a bit broader, not only for shoe design, but also for fashion. There's a lot of uh, designers we see in Amsterdam. They participate at, at, at Salon as well. Uh, is there a, a market? Is there a good, good opportunity for them when you, when you compare them with the big uh, global brands and the marketing brands? In fact, there is, but they also have to be aware of the fact that they are making a product which is made here, so there are no costs for airplanes or yeah. travel, or yeah. so there's no pollution, there's no... Yeah. So that saves a lot of costs too. Yeah. That's a reason why more and more people start buying these small brands, handmade or in a small industry made. Okay, it's a little bit more expensive, but you have more quality, yeah. you distinguish yourself because it's special. Yeah. It's a special product. Uh, you have special furniture, special fashion. <laughs> so that's that's getting more and more uh, yeah. attention. And talking about special, you brought some new designs with you. That is very special. Basic pump gives all the attention to the heel. Okay, a boot would be nice too, but the same here, but then four centimeter heel. It's always nice to find a four centimeter heel in a special shape. Four centimeter heel always looks like a stewardess pump. So if you make f or find something in a four centimeter heel, <laughs> then it's uh, it's a present. Again, now for this heel, it's about um, holes. It's about holes. It's holes in the heel and holes in material. And uh, in here is also a complete family from a slipper up to a high boot in this material with this heel. Very, very nice, very, 
beautiful and sexy, in my opinion. Look at this heel. Look at this heel. It's no, fish ladder. We have salmon ladder. We have, uh, and stingray is, is, well, normally used in a wallet or something. Yeah. And here we have the anthroposophic uh, shoe. So it's a wooden sole with a wooden plateau. And uh, the upper reminds of some famous artist from 90, Van de Siècle. Well, go back to this. It's about. It's again about um, a plateau, a built-in plateau. Um, nowadays, it's quite normal. 2007, it was impossible to make. So I found this uh, factory who was capable of making it. And that, my dear friend, was <laughs> was everything I had to tell you. <laughs> All right, Hester, Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if if you want to. Uh, have a look at these shoes. It's bad luck. This was your only chance in life. Uh, the collection is not uh, published yet. Watch Hassa, watch your uh, uh, website, your Facebook, and uh, there you she will announce as soon as something like this com becomes available. Really unique shoes. Dutch design, Dutch shoe design uh, from the highest uh, level. <laughs> Hassa, thank you very much, and I hope to see you next time at, uh, at Salon thank sometime. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.